So I wanted to share with you the transformation that's occurring within the Divine Feminine Collective, specifically as it pertains to the three lower chakras and integrated sacred masculine energy. So this message may or may not resonate with you now. It may be something you're moving into. It may be something you're coming out of, something you're going through right now, or not at all. So if it doesn't resonate, this message just isn't for you right now, but it may resonate later. So of the seven chakras, the three lower chakras are the ones that tie us to the 3D world of form, the physical realm, and ground us into the earth. And the three higher chakras are the ones that connect us to the spiritual realm, the subtle realms, and tie us to, you know, higher consciousness. And this will likely resonate the most if you are also resonating as a light worker, way shower of some kind in this lifetime, specifically if you've always had very active and open higher chakras. So maybe you've always been very intuitive, you've always had a very open third eye, um, or open crown chakra as a channel, um, but you might have experienced the obstacle and challenges like a lot of light workers and way showers do of really grounding this energy into the 3D world and experiencing the foundations and stability and abundance and prosperity and you know groundedness in the 3D largely due to emotional blockages and imbalances in the lower chakras and not fully bringing those into balance. So I'm going to speak to that now because this is the transformation that's occurring right now in the collective. So when you think of the root chakra, the root chakra is our most primal. It is tied to our need to belong and our feeling of connectedness and community. It also ties us to, you know, the physical world uh, the most. It grounded it, grounds us in it, and gives us that sense of stability foundation security even financial prosperity like 3d tangible prosperity in the 3d world and this can largely be thrown off balance due to feelings of unworthiness or not feeling good enough not feeling like you belong uh, not feeling connected also feelings of lack or scarcity so all of these feelings or limited beliefs or emotions know denser emotions around unworthiness shame or guilt things like that these emotions have been purging and you've been healing this chakra through integrating your sacred masculine energy so the qualities of the root chakra like stability foundation groundedness financial prosperity in the 3d and that sense of belonging and community uh, this groundedness with the earth this is a very masculine primarily masculine dominant energy uh, chakra and so integrating the sacred masculine has been a huge part of bringing this chakra into alignment so this may have looked like being able to finally set healthy boundaries, no longer being a people pleaser or an over giver, um, really honoring your value, honoring your worth, honoring your time. So as your feminine has come into alignment with your worth and your values and your time and your energy and, you know, just really connectedness with your own being your masculine energy has finally been able to take courageous action and create healthy boundaries to protect like the masculine does because the masculine is a great protector energy right so the masculine energy has been able to set healthy boundaries to protect and and no longer allow the self-sacrificing or the overgiving or the people pleasing and codependency issues you know based off of feelings of unworthiness and things like that and so integrating your sacred masculine energy has played a huge role in in healing bringing this into alignment and healing those emotions purging those emotions coming into alignment there and you may have noticed or you will notice or you will be noticing that your 3d world is shifting 
as within, so without, as above, so below. So your inner reality creates your outer reality. And as you go through this energetic shift and bring your root chakra into alignment, you will notice that your 3D world is shifting. So for example, this can look like career changes, how you earn money, relationships, things like that. Things that have been out of alignment, falling away, and things that to create more space and things that are in alignment that bring you more stability and more a stronger foundation that feel more supportive are coming in so relationships career opportunities you know uh, the way you earn money so huge shifts around career huge shifts around um, financials and things like that to really ground you in the 3d so that you can feel fully supported in this lifetime and ground your energy in this lifetime and fully express and manifest what you need to create in the 3d in order to be fully supported which so many light workers and way showers have blocks around and so this is being dissolved this is huge transformation that's occurring this is a total life shift that's happening which brings us to the sacral chakra, the navel chakra. This is primarily a feminine energy dominant chakra because it is the center of emotions. It does deal with your, you know, creation and sensuality and sexuality. You know, it's like I said, your center for emotions and your sense of self. And this has been opening up in a pure being purified and you may have noticed that you have no longer been suppressing or repressing emotions so there's been a lot of purging that's been happening to finally allow denser emotions that you know to be released that have been stored in the chakra and been throwing it off balance because this is located by the navel this region of the body stores a lot of emotions so for example your hips store a lot of emotions in your lower back so you may have noticed aches or pains in your hips or in your back. You may have also been drawn in the 3D to, you know, move your body in different ways that create more spaciousness and fluidity in this area. Those are both very feminine qualities. And so maybe it looks like, you know, a new form of fitness or yoga or a dance class or something like that. Uh, you've been guided to take up these new activities, likely, most likely, uh, or just move those areas of the body and open up and stretch in those areas of the body to get more spaciousness and fluidity in those areas to help loosen it up and really allow the release that needs to happen uh, to occur in order for you to fully release these emotions and allow them to dislodge from, from your body and from the chakra and, and allow the chakra to be purified, opened, and balanced. And so... Yeah, you may have experienced a lot of, you know, anger, a lot of sadness, a lot of things coming up uh, that normally would have been suppressed. And that's okay. That's a good thing. This is coming up to be purged and cleansed and bringing this into balance. Which brings us to the third chakra, which is the solar plexus chakra, which is another masculine energy dominant chakra because it does deal with your willpower it is the center of your ego it is also your center of confidence and motivation and how you exert your will in the 3d in the reality how you you know exert yourself and it's also very much a, a chakra associated with manifestation in the physical right so manifestation is about you know turning the spiritual into the physical and this is where again a lot of light workers and way showers have been blocked so this is all being purged the chakra there's a lot of transformation happening it's and we could i could do a whole another recording just on the solar plexus chakra and the transformation that's occurring right now but uh, what's what's been happening is the ego has been slowly dissolving so you've likely experienced if not one multiple ego deaths over the course of the last several months and even 
last couple of years, but it's definitely been intensified. If you found this message, you're likely noticing that that's been intensified. Um, And so what's happening is the ego is losing its grip and it's losing control and it's losing power. So the scent, the solar plexus chakra is about, you know, how, like I said, how you exert your willpower in the 3D. So it's a lot about power and it's a lot about control, but the ego is about self-centered, you know, it's very self-centered and it's very self-serving and it's always about what's in it for me, 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 I, 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 whereas the divine will is about the highest and greatest good for all involved and the ego is losing its grip on the steering wheel of your life and divine will is beginning to take over and this is a beautiful process and it can also cause a lot of suffering which is where the ego death and dark night of the soul come in Um, and usually the suffering is going to be directly related to how the how much the ego wants to cling to power and control during the process but as you continue to trust and surrender during this process and surrender to divine will and trust the unknown and trust yourself even and trust life and surrender the the easier this process becomes uh, because you're able to see the beauty in the breakdown you you know intuitively that there's a rebirth happening you know at this stage if you're resonating with this that there is that there is a breakdown and that things are shifting and that um, the old world ways are no longer going to work for you (laughs) and this is a good thing because this like I said the solar plexus solar plexus chakra is a center for manifestation But the old world ways of ego dominance, you know, trying to maintain power, force, and control over things in order to manipulate the external world and to satisfy your desires and wishes and manifestations that you want to occur, that's no longer going to work. It's actually just going to cause roadblocks and, you know, dead ends and tower moments more more tower moments the more that the ego clings and so the ego's been dissolving and divine will has been taking over so to speak you're you're not going to lose your ego altogether the ego gives it does serve a great purpose it gives us a a sense of individuality while we're in this experience and so while we're in this lifetime while we're experiencing being a human being but the ego's grip is no longer there trying to control and manipulate the entire life situation that you find yourself in instead you are trusting and surrendering to the divine will and letting the divine will take over and the ego is sort of bowing to that so the ego is loosening its grip and um so you may have noticed that as a byproduct of this that your motivation levels for things might have fallen away uh, or completely dissolved in even around things that you were previously very passionate about or inspired about so this could be your career it could be you know your passion project or your side hustle that you're into or your art or whatever it is could have completely lost all motivation because motivation is largely externalized it's externalized um, and focuses on external forms of success it's very externally motivating right it comes from outside of you usually uh, yeah I don't know how else to say it motivation is not coming from within divine will is inspired within it comes from within where motivation is oftentimes very like very masculine and very goal oriented um and that's not a bad thing but when it's distorted with the egoic mind it's it's way out of control and so any kind of self-serving egoic control manipulation or external motivation you know 
is no longer going to work and the motivation you've you may have experienced completely you know fade away for a lot of things now that doesn't mean that they can't come back it could be you know relationships careers jobs passion projects side hustles whatever it is that doesn't mean they can't come back around as you go through this phase but they you will breathe new life into them where they will no longer be driven by the ego so if it was a career or a job or a passion project or something like that and you've lost all motivation that's because the wherever the ego has been you know it, inserting itself in that process that's been dissolving and so the motivation naturally fades away but what it does happen is it gets replaced with inspiration that comes from within because now divine will is taking over and is now the driver right so the the ego is no longer has the steering wheel and as that occurs, as divine will starts to take over and you start to trust and surrender more and deepen into, you know, the trust and the faith and the surrender and allowing a life to unfold for you without having to try to control it or manipulate or exert your power over it, then inspiration from within bubbles up and you can breathe new life into even some of the things that you lost motivation for previously the divine will is not self-centered will right the divine will is always in the highest and greatest good for all involved and as you surrender to this uh, then you will notice that there are shifts happening that things are just starting to work out for you that synchronicities are occurring and uh, new much new things are manifesting for you and you'll also notice that any place in your life where you're using ego through force or power or control to try to get your way in the world in some way and this could be in any area of your life you'll notice that that's leading to a lot of frustration blocked walls dead ends and tower moments and then as you focus and really truly surrender to the divine uh, you are opening up to new opportunities synchronicities are flowing in that blow your mind and you're just living in the flow and you're trusting and this is a beautiful process and so these three chakras have been massively coming into alignment lately for the collective and this is all to ultimately serve the massive heart awakening that is also opening because as the heart opens and you really begin to tap into who you truly are, your divine nature, there's no room for the old world ways of the ego to drive the train. There's no room for feelings of lack or scarcity or not feeling good enough or unworthiness. There's no room for the bottled up and stuffed, repressed and suppressed emotions that you've been carrying around as baggage your whole life. And so all of that stuff has to go. All of the lower chakras are being completely purged because you are fully coming into your empress energy. Your empress energy is abundant. Your empress energy knows her worth. Your empress energy is magnetic. She trusts herself. She trusts her intuition. And she has an open heart. And she has faced her shadows. And she has faced and purged all of the all of the shadows all of the darkness to fully stand in her light and her worthiness and this is what's happening and so i could do i'll do another recording on the heart awakening but remember when i said that the heart chakra is is the bridge between the lower three chakras and the higher three chakras and your sacred heart is the portal and so there's a massive heart awakening we're happening right now and in order for this heart awakening to fully be supported all chakras are being you know purged and balanced and brought into alignment so this is leading not just to a new beginning there's been plenty of 
little new beginnings with each dark night and each ego death and all of the many and many I say many or big small whatever everything in between emotional purges right there's a lot of new beginnings every day is actually a new beginning every moment is a new beginning but I think you know what I mean there's um lots of transformations that have been occurring big and small for the last several months and even the last few years for this collective this is now a whole new life shift a whole new level of support a whole new level of prosperity a whole new level of abundance a whole new level of feeling nurtured and cared for and supported through you coming into alignment with you because you've been coming into alignment with you and now this is reflecting out into your reality your heart is opening and you are supported all of your chakras are on board now so to speak they're all in alignment and the energy now is allowed to flow from the spiritual subtle realms through down to the earth through you as the channel as the vessel as the vehicle of this energy you are fully able to ground it into 3d reality and allow this to flow through you because you're no longer blocked in any of these life centers and these chakras right ultimately you're not here to be an example of lack or scarcity or fear-based energies you're not here to be an example you know this you've known this your whole life if you're resonating with this that you are here to be a living walking talking breathing example of abundance and prosperity and unconditional love at your core and your life is meant to reflect that so welcome to your new life <laughs>